Hello and welcome to my Article Forge review. In this Article Forge review, I'm going to take you inside Article Forge. I'm going to show you the members area of Article Forge. I'm going to show you how Article Forge works. And I'm going to also give you some access to some articles that Article Forge has written for me. So here we're inside Article Forge. And um, this is the main screen of Article Forge. So once you sign up, this is exactly what it's going to look like. It's going to kind of guide you into some tips and tricks of, of how to get the best results with Article Forge. So you could go ahead and read that. It's uh, your intent for the article plus the keyword that you want to rank for. And you can also add auto-generated section headings with this, uh, which, are, which are H2 headings. You can add your own section headings, so you can either auto-generate them or you can add them on your own specific ones. And these are very useful if you're using uh, a, a, another tool such as Neuron Writer or Surfer that will give you um, H2 uh, section headings. You can actually import in those in here and it will write content based on those section headings. And uh, let me go ahead and show you how this works. So um, just give you a brief tour over here on the left-hand side of the screen. So new article allows us to create new articles. My articles shows us all the articles that we've created in the past. WordPress is really, really cool. So with this, you can connect your WordPress websites, any WordPress websites that you have, you can connect this into Article Forge and you can create a scheduler and you can schedule articles to come out on a daily schedule, a weekly schedule, you know, how many, how many you want, how many you want to come up, uh, to come out. So you would just need to put in your keywords and then it will go down the list of your keywords and it will, it, it will, um, publish those posts um, to the schedule that you have, whether it be daily, uh, every other day, three three articles a day, it doesn't matter. And the post scheduler is where you would do that. So you would go ahead and connect your WordPress accounts here under WordPress, and then you would do post scheduler here. Now, um, this only works for WordPress WordPress.org, which are self-hosted sites. It will not work for WordPress.com sites. So uh, just get that, just to be clear on that for you as well. Uh, usage information. So whenever you sign up for Article Forge, you get so many uh, character or so many words per month to generate. Um, mine is 250. Let me click on this for you and show you. Mine is 250,000 words per month. And uh, this shows you exactly how much that you used and how much, well, it doesn't show you how much you have left. So um, it shows you how much you have used out of the um, total words that you have. And then if you turn this on, this will allow you to create more than what you have. Um, if you do that, then you are charged 25 cents per 1,000 word that you generate over top of the 250,000 words that you use. And there are different pricing schemes that they have now, different plans. Um, there's a $13 plan, which is very, makes it very, very affordable. So, um, and this, this program just gets better and better. Article Forge gets better. They, they have at least two uh, updates every single year. API information allows you to put your API key into other programs that will pull Article Forge data. Uh, affiliates. So once you sign up, you well, once you sign up for an Article Forge account, you automatically get access to the Affiliate Center, and you can go ahead and promote Article Forge on your own if you want. And the Help Center is obviously uh, to get all kind of help and support for Article Forge. Um, I've had to, I've had to connect to their support several times, and I've always got a prompt, courteous, polite, professional response from them. So um, don't be afraid to contact their support if you have to. So let's go ahead and do a new article. And under keyword, I am going to do, um, we'll do solar panels. Okay, so my keyword is solar panels. And we can do a bulk article generator here if we want. So in how this works is we can put our keyword and we can put our sub keywords after, 
after the commas. So um, we can put as many of them as we want. But for now, I'm going to go to the regular article generator and article length. So this is the amount of words that we can put in our article. We can do anywhere from 50 to 1500. I like to meet in the middle at 500 words. We can add, we can allow it to add titles if we want. So I'm going to make sure that is on. Now this is where we can add section headings. If you add section headings, you're not able to add sub keywords. So let me show you here. If we put that on, the sub keywords down here go off. And what the sub keywords do, if you put five, you can put up to five sub keywords on each line that will tell it what to write about. So if you put the sub keywords in there, you're going to tell it that it needs to write sort of in this direction. So if you have more than one keyword that you want to put in your, in your uh, content, then you can go ahead and add them here, or you can go in and you can add the section headings, which I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and, and add section headings. I'm going to put on and auto generate section headings, which is I'm going to leave on as well. Now I'll show you here. If you turn that off, this will allow you to enter three up to three section headings. Two, as you can see, is required due to the length of 500 words that we put in here. So we can put up to three section headings and it's going to write based on those section headings. But I'm going to go ahead and let's do our solar panels safe. What is the cost of solar panels? And let's see, do I want to do another one? Solar panels versus electric. Okay. All right, so we'll put those in there. Uh, customize your style. We can add an image. Let's go ahead and add an image. And what this does is it pulls from stock images like Shutter, not Shutterstock, but it'll pull from places that will allow you to use their images in your content, such as Pixabay and Unsplash and places like that. Um, we can add a video. So this will add a relevant video, relevant YouTube video to your content. Let's go ahead and turn that on. Uh, we can replace keywords with links. So if you want to add a link in, uh, if you want to, specify keywords with a link, then you can do that here, uh, such as um, if we want to uh, take this to an affiliate offer, we can do that as well. And we can put like, if we put solar panels in here, then we can put every time it has, or look, let me show you how it works. So we can put like solar panel in here and we can put the link here. And then we can do um, replace title, um, we can do uh, use placeholder. Um, if enabled, we will replace keywords using placeholders instead of generating A tags. And we can only replace the first instance or we can replace all instances. So um, once it finds the word solar panel, it's going to go ahead and <clears throat> hyperlink that out to whatever that we wanted to, to, to hyperlink it to. Okay, but... Uh, we're not going to do that, so we'll turn that off. Um, we can post it to your WordPress blog. Now, if, like I said, over here, if you had a WordPress blog connected, you can go ahead and do that. And once it's generated, you can go ahead and auto post it to your blog if you want. And you can add rewriting powered by Word AI. Word AI is a very powerful spin rewriter tool. And <clears throat> it will uh, spin your content and it will generate multiple instances of the same article. So um, Word AI is a separate program. It's a separate charge. Um, if you want to learn more about that, I can put a link down below in the description uh, to a review video I did on that as well. So let's go ahead and create a new article. And it's going to go ahead and process your query. Now, uh, this may take a little while, so please be patient with it. 
this bar is going to go across. It's going to start in orange and it's going to slowly go across to the end. Now, um, it goes fast here, but once it gets towards the end, it slows down. And the reason why it does that is because Google made an update not too long ago. And it's called a helpful content update where it will, um, it will penalize sites that are not putting helpful content to its readers. So it will basically won't rank you if you're not putting helpful content in there. So to ensure that Article Forge is putting out helpful content for you, Article Forge has recently come out with an update within the past month that will, um, what it does is it will grade each and every sentence that it puts in there. So it generates nine versions of each sentence that it puts in your article. And then out of each sentence, it'll go through and it'll grade each one of those sentences for relevancy and for accuracy. It will then take the highest graded sentence out of those nine and place that in your article to ensure you're always getting the most helpful content to your readers. And it is, um, you should always fact check your articles anyway when you're using AI, but it seems to me, it seems to be a little more accurate with fact checking. And as you can see, it has slowed down over here because it is processing all of those sentences like I'm like I had uh, had said that um, it's processing the nine versions of every sentence so um, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video there's no need for you to wait while this is done and once this is finished I'm gonna go ahead and I'll be right back so it is finished so you'll get a link here that says click here to see the result so let's go ahead and click here to see the result and this is what it gave us the cost of solar panels and um, I'm going to go ahead and post this article out to my website and you can go ahead and click the link down below to uh, completely read it. But um, it gave us a very high quality article here. And what's the cost of solar panels? This is my H2 and it talks about that here. And uh, solar panels versus electric is down here. So it actually, it actually only put two of the three headers in there, uh, H2 headers, which is fine. Um, if you would have put a, if we would have put a uh, 750 or 1500 word article, it would have put all three of them in there or possibly more. Uh, the more words per article that you put in, then it's the, um, the more headers that you can place. So you can do that as well. And so all we can do, all we have to do here is just copy it. Just hit this copy button and it's copied everything and we can post it wherever we want. We can post it into WordPress. We can post it into uh, social media. We can post it into uh, Tumblr, Blogspot. We can post it anywhere. Also, you get an HTML version as well. So if you click on the HTML tab, you can click this and it's, it's, uh, it uh, copies the HTML version for you. So if you want to throw this into WordPress or wherever that takes HTML versions, you could do that as well. You also have the version to the option to spin it right here. And you can click on this spin button and it'll spin it with Word AI. And uh, this is the spin tax down here. If you uh, do uh, rewrite it with Word AI, this is the spin tax that you'll get. So um, I'm going to go ahead and generate some more articles so that you can see the power of Article Forge and what it can really do for your websites and for your business. So if you do have a blog that you want to go ahead and start generating some uh, some AI um, AI content, uh, AI content writing, then you can definitely do this with Article Forge. And in my opinion, Article Forge is the best tool out there. And it's the easiest tool to use for um, 
AI uh, writing tools. So all you have to do is put in your, your keywords and you're ready to go. And you can also use this, like I said, you can use this in conjunction with Surfer. You can use this in conjunction with Neuron Writer. And I'm sure there's other, art, there's other tools out there that you can use this in conjunction with as well. So I hope you found this video helpful to you. If you did, please like the video down below. Also subscribe to the channel for more reviews. And thank you so much for watching my Article Forge review. And I'll see you in the next video.